Series 2. <laughs> Zuri here, and today, Hobby Box 4324 Upper Deck Series 2 Hockey, featuring 12 cards per pack, 12 packs per box, and any given Hobby Box of Series 2. You should be expecting 6 Young Guns, 4 UD Canvas, 1 Outburst Parallel, 1 of the following, a base clear cut, a canvas black and white, or fluorescence red, 6 Honor Roll and Portraits, 3 Deep Roots, which are new, 1 Monster Season or Glary Insert, both of those are new, 1 Dazzler's Blue, 10 additional inserts, so like Series 1, there's going to be some filler inserts, 2 Sparkle Insert Parallels, which could be Director of Boards, I thought I said epileptic there but it's ecliptic okay instinctive and or pcs and one wild card which includes all the rare ratioed and numbered cards so there's that but before we get into today's video this video is sponsored by gp sports cards looking for group breaks of all sorts of hockey products check out gpsportscards.com featuring group breaks every wednesday and friday and be sure to subscribe to the newsletter to stay posted on upcoming breaks also be sure to check out total sports card located in toronto ontario featuring a variety of all sports cards and pokemon with a great selection of all current upper deck products available in store and online. Be sure to check out the Total Sports Cards Release Week promotion, in which you receive store credit for customers who pull certain parallels in store. So that's a promotion that's in store at the Total Sports Cards location. And if you look at the purchase new slash upcoming products on the online store, be sure to call or email for those products. So thank you, GP Sports Cards, for sponsoring today's video. All links in the description. And let's get into today's video. So series two finally here. Feels like we've been waiting months, if not years, for this product. One of the most hyped products of all time. More hyped than 2015-16 series one with Connor McDavid. David, I would say honestly at an extreme, but I'm excited to get right into it. And well, what should we expect in 23 24 Upper Deck Series 2? First off, we're continuing the flagship checklist 250 more cards, 200 base, 50 young guns as the same parallel as the Series 1. Granted, there is a pretty significant change with one of the parallels in the young guns, and that's the outbursts, which are one per box. They are one in 15 for the base and one in 60 for the young guns. They were one in 30 in Series 1, so they're one in five boxes now instead of one like two and a half boxes. So you're getting two and maybe a shot at three from a case. That's an interesting change there. There. Clear cuts are 1 in 48, and the young guns are a case hit 1 in 144. So it should be getting 4 in a case. And of course, all the numbered parallels from Series 1 are back, including the new Deluxe, the 250, the exclusives, which has been around forever to 100, the Outburst Red, which is back, which is really nice, the High Gloss to 10, and the Outburst Gold 1 in 1. We're going to get to that shortly, don't worry. But there's a base set for Series 2, and well, before we get to the young guns, what else should we expect in here? Well, like Series 1, it's this new configuration, 12 by 12 instead of 8 by 24. Well, there's going to be three inserts per pack. So there's going to be some filler inserts, and those inserts will have parallels. I'm not too fussed about a lot of these inserts we're gonna see a bunch of them but some of the more intriguing inserts would be the fluorescence which are one in 36 so one in three boxes and there's parallels to the fluorescence including a green to five highlighters are back from 22 23 which is nice they're one in 96 pack so nice to see those back parallels to those and for whatever reason green is one in 4608 packs okay mcdavid has his own insert in here monster season there's 82 cards for every game of mcdavid's year last year and there's gold parallels of 153 for 153 points okay population count is back hopefully the pop ones there's only one instead of seven like it was for series one and of course UD canvas you get four per box young guns are one in 24 packs I'll quickly touch on the young guns no better canvas young guns but you can get a guy like Logan Cooley in here who is not in the checklist for the base but there is 30 new canvas young guns and there's retired which there isn't Uncle Todd what I just noticed that now geez okay I gotta pull that thank you upper deck I appreciate that as well there's POE's 196 I'll touch on all the Bedard stuff shortly not to mention this the portraits they're back once again they're just a basic insert but gritty is the first one on the checklist for the 30 card checklist for series two for portraits typically it's all rookies for series two but I guess not this year. There's barely any rookies. Bedard's in there, but yeah. Also, it's worth pointing out, I don't see any rookie materials, which makes me sad. They've been around since, what, 607? They had the rookie threads of 506, so it looks like there's no jersey cards in here. There's only one announced autograph card here. It's a canvas signature of Luke Robitaille and Bernie Nichols, but there should be some snow spray autographs like there was in Series 1. I mean, I pulled a base snow spray out of from Series 1, but I would suspect they're in here as well. But it's flagship. We're looking for the young guns. And well, Buddy's on the cover. We're looking for Connor Bedard. He is card 451. He is the headlining here. An insane amount of hype is definitely justified. A little excessive to the point where I'm severely questioning the people that are buying it. Like, I'm not gonna put a tinfoil hat on and give outlandish reasons why I think that is, but the prices you see for some of his young guns are absolutely absurd. But before we get to Bedard, it should be worth noting. Here are the young guns. I marked in red what I think the top 15 is. I had a lot of debate on number 15 there. I put Tristan Luno ahead of some guys like Emil Andre, but it's weaker than it should be. Like, 23-24 is a fantastic crop, but there's gonna be 50 more young guns in Upper Deck Extended Series. So you won't see Adam Fantilli and Logan 
Cooley in here, but you got the second overall pick in 2023, Leo Carlson. You got Zach Benson, so those are your 2023 draft picks there. You got Kevin Korchinski, Connor Zary. So there is some constellation prizes to be had here with Series 2, but most breaks will be Bedard or Bust for sure. Matt Patra, sorry, I just forgot him there. He's another really solid one, so fortunately he's injured, but yeah, 23-24 Series 2. And quickly, while I'm ending this, I'll any percent speed run all the other Bedard stuff in here just by hitting Control F, so here you go. All right, here's what Bedard has in Series 2. Aside from the young guns and the checklist young guns, of course, Leo Carlson. He has a rookie die cut, which is in the Walmart mega boxes, as well as a rookie class from the Target mega boxes. He has a Dazzlers, no fluorescence for Bedard, so keep that in mind. No fluorescence, that's kind of disappointing. He has OPT Glossy, which is in various retail products, and he does have a pop count, so there is a pop count one for Connor Bedard. He has a program of excellence, which is expected. He has a UD portrait and an oversized young gun, so there you go. And it should be worth pointing out, David Adams has a $1 million bounty out for the Outburst Gold Young Guns. I'm not sure who wouldn't take that. A million bucks for a shiny piece of cardboard? Sure, I'll trade that in for a house, nice car, and frick off on vacation for a long time, but that's a massive chase. But this box cost, and this is the biggest point of contention with this product. For me, this was who 100 bucks before tax, 225 all in. Boxes of this are like $300 US or 330 to 350 Canadian, which is absurd. These boxes started out at like 160 at pre-order. I mean, I reserved mine months ago, so I mean, it is a special occasion. It's once in a generation. And also just a PSA, don't go throwing haymakers at your best pal for retail. Like if you see a younger collector trying to buy some of this and you're just some flipper frick, just let them buy it. Like don't be hostile, which by the way, retail is out and I will have tins and blaster breaks soon. But yeah, let's check out 23, 24 series two and see what's in store. Okay, series two. So what is the over under on how many Connor Bedard young guns are produced? I feel like this product is the most produced hockey product in modern history. Post junk wax era. I don't think 0506 had anything close to this. I don't think 15, 16 was anywhere near this. So I'm thinking there's at least 100,000 base Connor Bedard young guns, at least. Probably more than that, but here are the packs, 23, 24 series two. I mean, they keep it really basic on the back there, but uh, let's check out series two. So it's a continuation from series one here. Oh, we got the outburst right away and it's not Connor Bedard. So there's a curse chef. So here's the base. Should be updated. I hope have some 23, 24 pictures in here, but I go card 288, Philip Kurashev. Standard stuff there. And then there's Andre Palat. So there's a back. Just has five years of stats. So, okay. Ilya Samsonov, Matheson, Zaitsev. Oh, here's one of the new inserts. Ecliptic, not epileptic. I'm not having a seizure while looking at this, but Adrian Kempe. And here's the first young guns, Nick Sweeney. So there's some real aggressive, not great ones in here. Just pure depth, guys. I know Columbus has like six young guns in here. And the Vronkov's the one that's pretty much of note. So there you go. There's Nick Sweeney young guns. And here's our first outburst. These are one per box. Mason Marchment. So it's interesting that the young guns are now one in 60. So they're much tougher. That'll probably help the values of those for sure. But there's Bjorkstrand, Truba, Haskinen, and Obey Kubel. So yeah, we got Henrique, McDonough, Jake Sanderson, Leans Allmark, and Instinctive. So shiny filler inserts is pretty much what they are. Oh, there you go. Here we go. So looks like we got a black and white canvas for the first box here of Mort Cider. That means we're not going to get like a fluorescence or clear cut. But there you go. Cider, black and white canvas. A Nestorenko, Superstar Honor Roll. Those pretty much replace the portraits for the rookies, I would assume, because it's pretty much a portraits. There's Fabro, Grizzlick, Pedersen, Uyghur, and Merzlikens. I'm also looking for any egregiously out of date players here, like that aren't on the right team here. Uh, we have a Young Guns coming up here. But, ooh, hey, oh my gosh. Hal Yarncroak, Opera Deck Exclusives. That's nice. I have a case of this right beside me here. I kind of hope you get one here, but 14 to 100 for Yarncroak there. Nice. Yarncroak, nice. Ovi, Ecliptic. And I'm pretty sure there's parallels to these uh, filler inserts there, but there Ecliptic, Ovi, John Ludwig, Depth Defenseman, Young Guns there for the pens. Not sure if I'm a value for hardly any of these. This stuff just came out. This will probably be like a buck card or sub dollar card, but there you go. John Ludwig. You got Fisherman Sorokin there. There's Tippett. Mantha, who's now a Vegas Golden Knight. Jake Gensel. Where is he going to go? And Alex T As of this recording, he hasn't been traded, but sounds like he is. Uh, you got Oshi. Cal Yarn Croak. <laughs> There we go. There's a Brad for Series 2. There's a checklist. We got Johnston and Kuzmenko. Interesting choice of players there. There's your first out-of-date player there for Andre Kuzmenko, which is understandable. He's traded not long ago, but there you go. Cards 351 to 450. Okay. They got Demko. Another shiny card. Michael Pizzetta, director of boards. So I'm assuming this is like a card for players hitting because it has Pizzetta there and he's running into Derek Stepan. Okay. Ooh, Deep Root Sid. That's cool looking. Almost has like a matte finish to it. I like that. That's nice. Deep Root Sid. Doesn't all have to be shiny. I like that there. So probably my favorite insert to this point new one the wolf honor roll Fogel, martinook johansson and delandria all right let's continue on here again it's gonna be bedard or bust for a lot of boxes here but huberto ristolainen and nathan bastard and oh there's a quinn hughes got faked out there but yeah there you go epileptic so there's a parallel that's a blue of sid so the regular ones are two per box and this must be the sparkle that's one in 30 for epileptic i'm just gonna call it that instead of ecliptic okay uh, there's a connor garland canvas a hey, seth jones so here's one of the portraits either one of the standards is here's one but we got nylander arvidson lusterain harder heart 
and Anton Lundell. There you go, Seth Jones. Nice. That's fantastic there. I love these portraits. So there's 30 more in the checklist here. And that's a fun one there. They got to meme it up with the portraits moving forward. So that's the best way to do it for sure. But there's Philip Deneau, Sam Gerard, Travis Boyd, Victor Olison, Alex Newhook, PCs, Nikita Kucherov. So is that in regards to personal collection or personal computers? Like, which one is that? Player character. Okay, so I guess like the EA games there. So PCs of Cooch. Maki Samuskevich Young Guns. Former first rounder in 2021. I mean, he's looked pretty decent in AHL. Has some upside there. So Samuskevich. I mean, I'm kind of distracted by the card behind him. Logan Cooley. Canvas Young Guns. That's really nice there. But first got Doughty, Manjapane, Guryanov, and Pasternak. Guryanov on Montreal. Okay. But there you go. Logan Cooley, Canvas Young Guns. Top four guy in this crop. Big time star upside for Cooley. His base Young Guns is confirmed to be an extended. But his canvas is here. It's right here. So there you go, Logan Cooley. Nice. I'll take that. Imagine if Cooley and Fantilli were in here. Jeez. It would definitely soften the blow if you don't get Bedard. But let's continue on here. There's a Gabe Velarde, Riley Smith. So there you go. There's an out of date one. He's on the pens now. He's been on the pens all year. Marcus Felino, Fabian Zetterland. There's a PCs of Mitch Marner. So in regards to video games there. And Hardy Haman Octel there. Young Guns. So older rookie. Kind of interesting as put up really good numbers as a defenseman in the Swedish League. But not the best one there. The Backland UD Canvas. Canvas has some great photography once again here. The team of Meyer, Morgan Riley, Jacob Silverberg, Jacob Markstrom, and Yegor Sharangovich. Another out of date one there. He's been on Flames all year. So okay. All right. Five more packs. Series two. I will have a case break. That'll probably be the next video will be case part one, but Troy Terry, Bushnevich, Colton Sissions. This is just the first go around, just having a look at the product. Raquel, there's Tyler Toffoli. Oh yeah, there you go. That's out of date there. Those guys were traded for one another, but oh, we have a Boston Bruin here. There you go. AJ Greer, director of boards. That's like a sparkle parallel. Okay. And there's Chris Letang, upper deck canvas, a lot of pregame canvas cards, which is cool. Max Gwinnett, on a roll. Okay. Charlie Coyle, Jake McCabe, Brian Assad, and Vince Dunn. Four more packs. Really happy with that. Logan Cooley, there's Jerry McCann, Saros, Schneider, Berggren, Ross Colton, in Instinctive, Vitek Vanacek, K. Okay. And we got Deep Roots Pasta and a Coronado Honor Roll. Sandheim, John Gibson, Colin Blackwell, Novak. Okay, and we got Clayton Keller, Chris Kreider, Nick Delorier, Good Branson, Brandon Tanev. Ooh, we got Dazzler's Blue. Pretty deep blue for the Dazzler this year. There's Bread Band, Dazzler's Blue. There's Soros Instinctive, and we have Young Guns. It is Connor Zary. Nice. Okay. Before that, we got Stone, Hayton, Harris, and Trocheck. But there you go, Connor Zary. And the quality seems to be pretty good on the cards. I will point that out. I haven't seen any glaring issues with that, so that concern seems to be subsided. Let me know if you guys have had any quality control issues, but there you go. There's a Connor Zary Young Guns. He's been terrific for the Flames there. There you go. Connor Zary Young Guns. Nice. All right, two more packs here. I feel like we have a Bedardless box here, which is fine, but we got Schmaltz, Nurse, Svechikov, Rensky, Monster Season, so I don't think these are guaranteed in a box. Connor McDavid, so he just recorded an assist, okay? So it has every single game of the year for McDavid there, okay? Instinctive, Jordan Bennington, Cole Gutman, Honor Roll, Kairu, Pionk, Dry Seidel, Georgiev, Hedman, and a fall pack, Series 2. Again, case break coming up, retail coming up, bunch of stuff coming up. See what we finish off here with. Heilbach, Tolvanen, Mahura, Allison, Prezov, PCs, Jamie Ben, Deep Roots, and Fraser Minton, so Young Guns. Oh, there's Theodore, Point, Norris, Zuccarello, Sturm, so there you go. There's Minton, had a brief stint with the Leafs in the beginning of the year there. Wasn't ready, but he's a pretty good prospect for the Maple Leafs there. I don't think he'll make the team next year, probably have at least a year of seasoning in NHL, but it could be a pretty decent second line center, I would say, but there you go. Fraser Mint Young Guns to finish off the first box, Series 2. So yeah, guys, there's a Hobby Box, 23-24 Series 2. Well, quality looks to be pretty good. You guys let me know your experiences with this product, whether or not there's any quality control issues. But as for the basic inserts here, fairly stellar, a lot of shiny stuff here. Portraits are nice. Just got one portrait. It's kind of disappointing there. I guess they're not guaranteed two per, so. Now for Young Guns, we actually did fairly well. We got Fraser Mint in there, Damascavich, we got Counter Zeri, and the Logan Cooley canvas. So Young Guns, very solid there. Even though there's no Bedard, that's a problem. If you're paying three something a box, every box that doesn't have Bedard is going to be a loss for the most part. And for the more unique cards here, we got the Outburst of Mason Marchman, Cider Black and White Canvas, and we got the increasingly rare Upper Deck Exclusives. Why is Pierre Engvall there? I guess that's an old picture from like early season 22-23 there, but there's Zach Aston Reese there knows that too, but yeah, all in all, I'm excited to rip into more of this. So there's that. So yeah, guys, stay tuned for more breaks to come. As always, thanks for watching. See you guys later.